Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? Intel, I think they're about to progress in the field of useful GPUs that are not absolute potato because Intel says that the Arc XE4 Druid GPUs are already in the works and that the software optimization is the only remaining step for XE3 Celestial as it approaches launch with Panther Lake. Can you imagine like writing articles for a living and actually thinking a title that long will catch the attention of anybody? That is my actually, you know what? They may be like, they may be using SEO updates that I am fully unaware of because I do not optimize things for SEO. So this right here, I think it's a pretty clean looking graphics card. We got some RGB going on up on up on and on and then up on under there. We got what is what is the game? Oh my goodness, I forgot to disable my retro scan line. Hold up. Ready? Boom. Now we don't have any scan lines anymore. Yes, your boy does do this. Ready? Watch. Look at it. Look at it. Ready? The scan lines right there. Ooh, it looks so much better when you play retro games with scan lines. And I know you guys all agree with me. However, I'm going to go ahead. And Whoa there, buddy. Where's my mouse? You guys ever run into that problem with 4K monitor and a white screen? You're like, where's my mouse at? I know you guys all run into that same problem. So, dude, Intel, I want to talk about this from a productivity side of stuff which is kind of where i've gone with the ultra 9 the ultra 7 the 9950x and then the 9800x 3d which that video is going to take me quite some time to actually edit it but i do have a video going over my perspective on all of the new cpus i do want to make a very clear note that this is like the highest end computer that you can get it has the best x or z890 motherboard in it it has the best ddr or for team group T4, it has the best DDR5. It has the best. So, and the reason I'm not saying this to brag because the 9950X computer was the same thing, had the best X870, the best this, best that. Same thing with over there. For a mid range computer, it had the like, the like, it was an ASRock motherboard. I don't want to call that the lowest end motherboard because. To be fair, ASRock is pretty good now at this point. They're not, they're still like a budget friendly motherboard, but they're not like potato and garbage, you know? And then the memory inside of it was 6,000 CL30. The graphics card was a 4070 Ti Super. And, and the reason I'm saying this is because I wanted to test the highest end computer with the Ultra 9 and Ultra 7 in the exact same computer and then do the same thing with a mid-range computer for the Ultra 7 and the Ultra 9. And the reason that I wanted to do this dude is because I'm, I'm sure that you're all aware of this is the difference in the performance between all of the people making reviews on these CPUs is just ridiculous. You go to Tom's Hardware, which is literally what I'm reading the article on, and they say it's a good CPU. You go to Gamers Nexus, and they're gonna tell you this is a terrible CPU. You go to Linus, they're gonna be like, oh, there's, it's, it's a good CPU, but it's not as good as what Gamers Nexus says. And then you go to Jay's Two Cents and be like, oh, it's, it's even more potato than what Paul's hardware said, but it's like really bad, like super duper bad, like mega bad. And I genuinely feel that the reason for all of this is because people are using different motherboards with different BIOSes for a brand new platform from Intel. So the reason that I got the highest end motherboard from ASUS for the Z890 is because, look, dude, I hate to say this, man, but it's just true, okay? Like, you, d and it's, it just, it, I, the reason I hate to say this is, because, one is because I'm talking about Intel versus AMD, and it's like, anytime you do that, you're starting a war. And then secondly, it does sound like you're bragging. But I'm not, dude. I'm just trying to be real with people, okay? When you build a high-end computer, you build a high-end computer with high-end parts. You do not try to cheap out to get uh, uh, a cheap motherboard with the highest-end CPU, the highest-end whatever this, and the highest-end that. But then we're going to only get, like, a, a, a garbage, like, AliExpress power supply. Bro, like, <laughs> if you're building a high-end PC, you use high-end parts. You don't mix and match high-end stuff with low-end stuff and expect it to, like, whatever. I digress. I'm going to go ahead and take my cookies out of the oven and shipping it out to the customers. So, oh my goodness, I, man, I just, so either way that the video that I just barely felt the need to describe to you and completely got off topic in comparison is, uh, 
the reason that I want to talk about productivity is because a lot of people right now are talking about Intel's new, uh, their new, whatever, their new graphics card in comparison to an RTX 4060 for gaming specifically. And Intel is a little bit better theoretically on paper as of right now, which is let's be real. 0% chance it's accurate. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know it just as well as I know it, dude. Every single company does it. NVIDIA spikes their numbers way up. AMD spikes their numbers way up. Intel does the same thing, dude. They all do it, okay? So there's a 0% chance that it's going to be the numbers that we see. Um, Intel is definitely nitpicking specific games for the 4060's terrible performance. But the, I, I digress with this. The reason I'm saying this is because Intel's graphics cards are actually really good for productivity. They are actually really good for video editing and photo editing and that sort of stuff. They definitely still need updates for drivers as far as the video gaming goes. Um, and that's just undeniable. You just, you just can't even really argue that. Uh, I haven't tested them with AI. I've only done two computer builds with Intel Arc. Um, one was for a business down my road that's running a restaurant. And then the other was for one of my buddies that has a movie theater and he to be i really actually want to do that with him because i want to make a video with him just having like a tournament and he's a really cool guy um and just like playing games on the big screen it's actually pretty terrible it's pretty it's pretty hard to do it's it's the lag is pretty terrible <laughs> it's pretty bad um on a project because it's not a gaming projector it's a movie theater projector it's a pretty terrible experience to be honest but i guess it would be kind of funny like a, a, a super smash bros tournament or something um and the, the the amount of lag it would just be a funny video uh but either way um so the the, the uh the reason I'm talking about the, the productivity is because if Intel can connect, like they're, dude, I'm, it's so hard now because everybody's like starting to change their freaking naming for everything. The B750, is that what the freaking graphics card was called? The B, oh my God, Intel GPU names. I literally have to Google this. All right, so we got the Intel Arc. A750 and A550. Okay, so the A750 is the only graphics card that I have used. Just let's make that clear, okay? Um, I haven't used the A550 or the A3380 or the A310. I've only used the Intel Arc A750. Um, so now let's get back to this right here. So where I'm coming from right now is, again, video editing productivity. That felt like 4070 Ti performance to me productivity okay zero percent in gaming because i just i just don't really i don't really care about gaming anymore man i just don't like we're at and i'm, I'm actually sure that a lot of you kind of are at this point as well where like dude if you have a computer man you're getting 300 fps inside of, at least at 1440p now you, like if you have a computer that's capable of 300 fps first of all do you really care about even if like let's say we go from a 14900k or an ultra 9 and get the, the 9800x 3d which is literally just superior to every other gaming cpu out there on the market and that's just a fact there's a period we're getting like 100 fps more but dude like look i'm not again not trying to play sides or whatever here but do you really care do you really care do you really care about 100 fps more dude like, and I'm, I, that's a lot of frames too, but like I'm coming from, yo, I'm already playing a game at 300 FPS. Do I really care about getting 400 FPS now? Do you even have a monitor capable of that? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully aware there's some 1080p monitors that have like ridiculous refresh rates, but brother, you can get a potato computer and still get refresh rates at 1080p at this point. A freaking 4070 is going to pay like 500 FPS. But, <laughs> but like, dude, so I just don't care about frames rates anymore because it's just like, I just don't, I just don't, I don't care. I just don't care anymore, dude. So like, I, I understand that a lot of people like, like playing games, but I just genuinely don't care anymore. <laughs> it's just like, we're at a point where it doesn't matter, at least from my perspective. So the, 
the 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 cool thing about this is that this is a 250 dollars graphics card and with with it perf for productivity performing like a 4070 or 4070 at least this is where i'm guess getting just like guessing okay because i just i they do they spike their numbers so i am basing it off of intel's whatever a 750 if they can get the performance to like the like actually 4070 ti because it just felt like a 4070 i wasn't like testing it in comparison like super nitpicking and stuff but like dude it felt really good to me so i'm that's where i'm coming at and i just feel like with with nvidia about to announce their 50 series graphics cards at ces of 2025 right yes 2020. i'm preparing for the new year <laughs> um <laughs> i gotta prepare a month in advance or i'll keep saying 2024 um so uh, let me know what you guys think about this stuff i'm excited for the intel's graphics cards specifically if they can actually get it on par for both the 4070 and the 4070 ti after driver updates like for gaming because that's dude that's like why am i having such a hard time doing math right now it's like 600 600 bucks less than the 4070 ti super right because the msi the msi 4070 ti super that in that computer over there I got for 820 bucks after waiting a month. I don't know if any of you noticed this too, but for some reason, the 4070 and the 4070, they're so inflated right now. And I'm guessing it's because Nvidia decided to stop production of the 40 series graphics cards. And now they're only making the potato GPUs. So we got a bunch of freaking pricks buying up all the, the graphics cards that everybody wants and then reselling them for $200 more MSRP because apparently that's just how people operate on oh let me make 200 bucks because that's just worth it rather than actually finding something viable it's like that's literally the loser working at mcdonald's that comes home and does nothing but play video games oh let me buy up all the graphics cards to make a few hundred extra bucks whereas i could just like learn something and do something with my life rather than needing to freaking screw other people sorry bros if that was you but <laughs> I don't think I need to uh, actually explain myself. It's I don't really. Uh, that's literally what it is, bro. That's, that's how I see it. You don't, you don't, you don't go and buy like ten fucking graphics cards for a thousand bucks, and then up them four hundred bucks each to make four thousand dollars. If you feel like a good person doing that, bro, by all means, whatever floats your boat, but. I don't know. I guess I'm just a decent human and I was raised in an era of not screwing people. <laughs> it actually says, dude, I get comments like I get comments on my computer business all the time. Like I get comments all the time. Dude, I genuinely love what I do. Like I actually love what I do. If it's not obvious, dude, I struggle with high functioning autism. The hardest thing for me to do is nothing. It is the hardest thing for me to do is just sit down and do absolutely nothing. It is the most difficult thing for me. So dude, building computers is like Legos for me. There's a reason that I don't charge people anything for the computers. There's a reason that I don't charge any labor fees. I don't charge any markup. I live in New Hampshire, so there's no sales tax here. So you don't have to pay sales tax on any of that stuff. There's no income tax here. So I don't have to like do a bunch of accounting to figure out, okay, how much am I gonna lose off of selling $30,000 worth of computers this month? Oh, well, if I do that, now I gotta pay fucking 20% of my income to the IRS because that's clearly not just stealing and then giving them money so they can print money out of their ass like they always do. Oh, hey, there, let me print $7 trillion and then send it to other countries that we have nothing to do with and then also pave roads that don't even need to be paved where there's a road over here that actually needs to be paved but this one costs more so you want to dump money into this and then oh well we want to print out money more money so we're going to charge you tax money so that we can print more money and it's like brother how about you just stop printing money out of your ass and let people live <laughs> but i got so either way i actually care about people so um 
that's why I do my business the way I do, dude, is because I love building computers. I love creating content. I did take a really big break from video, but dude, people need to understand that I'm running like five different YouTube channels every single day. I got a freaking browser over here, browser over here, browser over there, uploading, editing, freaking preparing. And it's like, there's comes a point where or I got to a point where I'm like, why am I doing all this? Like, why am I even doing this? I feel like this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs fall into the trap of where they get very excited that they're making a lot of money. And what happens is they set this goal to pretty much they they're working hard and then they get to a point where they're where they don't need to work hard anymore if that makes sense so when when you hear most people say oh i want to make a million dollars really what people are saying is i want to spend a million dollars that's what they're saying dude like most people that want to make a million dollars like think is that you like think actually think about that if you want to make a million dollars why do you want to make a million dollars Probably because you want to spend a million dollars. You want a nice big house. You want a Lamborghini. You want this. You want that. You want to you want to prove yourself to other people. You want to flex how much better you are than everybody else. And look, dude, we all we're all human, okay? We all fall into this trap. I don't think there's anybody that can actually honestly say, "Oh, that wouldn't be me." And if you say, "Oh, that wouldn't be me," it's because you don't you're not there, okay? So when you actually get to that point of being able to do this. And you're actually able to start doing stuff like this and buy the Lamborghini and buy the house and whatever, do all this stuff. You start to realize how pointless and pathetic and useless all of that is. You, you literally just wasted, or I don't want to say wasted. You literally just worked your butt off for like 10 years to grow a business in order to blow $400,000 on a car that you enjoyed for a month before it just became a chunk of metal sitting in your garage. <laughs> so like you get to the point where you start questioning yourself, dude, like once you get that, you start to realize that what, like, what do I spend money on? Like I spend money on good food, healthy food. That's pretty much it. I just like, I like to eat food. I like, I eat, I make good food. That's, I buy stuff that's good for me so that I'm not in the hospital and I don't need to pay $10,000 for insurance that I'll use once a year, just, just in case. <laughs> so like, so anyways, man, you get to that point where you start questioning everything and just, you get to that, you just don't need to make anymore, you know? Um, so that's why I run my business the way that I run it. And I just don't. It just, it just doesn't make sense for me to charge anymore. You know, I just, I really like what I do. And it's like, if I can play grown up Legos and build computers all the time and talk about nerdy freaking weird things that people seem to complain a lot about in the comments on how I get off topic, like literally like whatever this 20 minute video, like two minutes of it was the fucking title. <laughs> But a lot of people like relate to it, bro. And they see that I'm a real person just having fun talking about things that they enjoy. Whereas like nobody else does that. Like nobody else does that. They got to make it all professional and script it and freaking lay out all the writing and stuff. And oh, we need to be this. dude. There's a reason that every single video that I make the title is at the very beginning. The reason I do that. <laughs> Is because I know that I'm going to get off topic and I absolutely despise when people do that to other people where they title the video something and then they don't fucking talk about it until 10 minutes into the video. I don't give a shit if they put timestamps or not, bro. That's 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 so frustrating to me. OK, so that's why I never do that. That's why if, if there's a video that I make and the title says something, that title will be at the very beginning of the video. The reason I don't put timestamps in, in my content anymore, dude, is because it was like it was it was having a serious impact on the performance of the channel with the way that I make content. Again, I'm not like other channels. I'm very different if and with me doing things the way that I do them. It's not the same as somebody, what I would consider stealing, sitting in front of a fucking article, just reading it. I consider that robbery. I consider that stealing. Oh, your boy's like roasting up in here. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, 
man i got way off topic but either way let me know what you guys think about the new arc gpus fully i'm gonna go ahead and i won't shut up peace <laughs>